are open seven days a week serving lunch and dinner. On the weekends, we also offer delicious breakfast and brunch menus. Stop on in and find out why Karen's Coscobber is for people who love friends, family, and good food. So come give Coscobber a shot! Up at 9 Cardinal Road. Visit Nantaco.com to pre order a family meal to pick up after the game or just to stop by. Gracias and enjoy! Nantaco! In the past two years, the GAF has raised money to purchase and install numerous enhancements for Greenwich High School, including new gymnasium bleachers state-of-the-art sound system at Dorothy Hamill Rink, new array speakers at Cardinal Stadium, and the new stadium scoreboard. You can visit us at GreenwichAF.com and hit the giving button at the top of the webpage. The Greenwich Athletic Foundation, driven to improve our high school sports experience. Looks like they want three dudes. Karen's Cos Copper is a family-owned restaurant located at 31 East Putnam Avenue in Cos Cobb. We're a favorite among local residents, as well as those just passing through. We're open seven days a week serving lunch and dinner. On the weekends, we also offer delicious breakfast and brunch menus. Stop on in and find out why Karen's Cos Copper is for people who love friends, family, and good food. So come give Cos Copper a shot!
Nantaco in Connecticut. We are serving delicious taco bowls, burritos, quesabirria, carne asada tacos, and everybody's favorite, the big cajuna <laughs> breakfast burrito. Nantaco! The Nantaco truck will be set up every Saturday night from 5 to 8 at the Greenwich Skating Club at 9 Cardinal Road. Visit Nantaco.com to pre-order a family meal to pick up after the game or just to stop by. Gracias and enjoy! Nantaco! In the past two years, the GAF has raised money to purchase and install... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome... To another edition of Greenwich Cardinals Hockey tonight, the 2-14 Cardinals of Greenwich will play host to the 10-8-1 Fairfield Co-op Falcons. Hello, everybody. I'm Rob Burnett. You know me, of course, as the voice of Cardinal. And you know what? Whenever I'm doing a big opening, we're supposed to have a big theme song with splashy graphics, you know, like the... Ba, 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 ba. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Cardinals hockey. Ba, ba, ba. And then we see shots of Kyle Allen scoring a goal and Heath Jervis decks a guy and ba, ba, da, Sinisi, big save. Ba, ba, da, da. <sighs> Never has an announcer worked harder than this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It's senior night at Dorothy Hamill. Some call it rink, some call it arena, but everybody calls it Cardinals country and somebody is late. Get in here. I'm gonna announce my boys here, but this giant guy just got here. There's a little car accident on uh, Putnam, so I almost missed it myself. <laughs> Without further ado, to my left, your right, here he is, everybody's favorite. Smooth as silk, oh, baby. easy on the eyes, a gentle soul, hands of a champion. <laughs> That's a new one. I like that. I like that. Why not? You got the there you go. Why champion. not? <laughs> Chris Jonesy Jones, welcome aboard. Thanks, Rob. Great and to be here, to buddy. To my right, your left, it's the big brain, the Sir Andrew Boyer. Welcome. You made it just made, in time. Just under the wire, yeah. Well, boys, it's senior night. This is our last broadcast. Yeah, that's right. Very exciting night, even though I had to supply my own theme song there at the end. I know. That was uh, that was something. Yeah, it was something. It was something. <laughs> not sure what, I'm but it was sure, something. Yeah, it might have been nothing. I think it was nothing. Um, all right. So we got, so these two teams have played once before this year. Yes. Fairfield Co-op won that game 5-2, I that's, understand. That is correct, yes. This is a rematch, and if I also understand it, they're going to face each other in the FCX. Yes, and, that, and as it turns out, out. That's this Saturday. Wow. It's the first game. In the, Greenwich had a couple of uh, well, they had a snow out anyway, so they have to they had to add St. Joe's to the end of the schedule. Okay. And now we have so they they're playing tonight, tomorrow night against Notre Dame Fairfield, and then uh, on the road, and then St. Joe's on Thursday. They got a whole day off to rest their legs, and then they got to play Fairfield again. So this is a little first prelim, round. a little, little prelim sparring yeah, yeah. match. Uh, yes, Let's indeed. see what you got. Let's see what I got. Yes, indeed. It's. That's sort of what it is. Um, all right, I'm going to ask you about Fairfield Co. But maybe let's go down to the ice and just take a look at some of the senior night yeah. activities, because people want to see them, not us. Let's be honest. Let's, Are we still on TV? <laughs> Have we switched? Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> all right. I never know. Here you. All right, they're introducing the seniors, I believe, from Fairfield Co-op first. And the, yeah, the, then we got... Uh, the seniors are, are, you know, the powerhouse. Oh, my gosh, team. yeah, you look at these stats. Yeah. I, Sawyer I, I, Kleinberg, Ryan uh, Tymon, yep. Ryan Flynn, and Liam Forrest. I mean, this is just... Uh, my calculator can't even hold all these numbers. Yeah, they, they scored uh, 4.1 goals a game. 137 uh, points between yeah. them. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 the only good news is maybe it's going to be a little top heavy. They might have like one super powerful line. All right, let's get to well, the team that our, ho our home fans care about. Kyle Allen, a senior. Bringing the whole family out, the which is so family. nice. One of the captains. Rose for mom. 
Thanks for tying my skates all these years. Exactly. I'm not saying she's still tying them. I'm just saying uh, <laughs> there's no hockey mom that didn't tie some skates what, along the way. Tie some skates, maybe even carry the bag when they were too little. Yep. When they could fit inside the bag. You know what would be nice for next year? Just a production note. Yeah. We should have the name of the parents. Now, you know some of these parents. That's Do you know right. the names? Doris Allen? No, no. Did I just make up some names? No, you just... I, I had made it. up a theme I song. I had it, and then, you, and then there's just, Doris that's Allen, Jen, Kyle, that's Jen, Jen Allen, <laughs> Jen, Jen Allen, Jen yeah. Allen. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, it just vanished from my head. Who's next? Oh, number 22, Jacobs Bailey. Uh, he's a JV player, and uh, that's a nice touch, not, bringing him up here. Very, for very classy night. move by classy Duffy. Move. To bring him out here and. <laughs> Let him wear the varsity jersey, and, uh, and he's worked his, his butt parents, off. And Andrew, his parents. what are his Nick, Nick and I, Nick I don't and, uh, know Eva. the Baileys. Nick and Eva Bailey. That's uh, that's Nick and Eva. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no disrespect to the They're Baileys. They're over on Pontchartrain Avenue, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, these kids work hard four years. Yeah. At every level, it's a very nice touch. I'm glad they brought Jacobs uh, up. Yeah, that's very cool. It's actually Jay. Colin Bucalo. Oh, I messed that up. That's Jay. Jay Bailey. Jay Bailey. Yep. Okay. Close. In Colin, the Jay family. Well, all right. Not my fault. No, no, that's my fault. Colin Bucalo. Got some great time as a tender. We saw him uh, take a lot of rubber in the last match when oh, uh, Sinisi was out. Just non-stop rubber from a very difficult uh, Notre Dame team. I had the, uh, the the shot count afterwards. It was 47 shots he faced wow. to Greenwich's 15. Yeah. So he he did play. Tough call. You got, he, he didn't find out until that day and he, and he really hung in there really well. Jake D'Angelo, clearly a crowd favorite here. Crowd on its feet. I, I know the mom. That's Carrie D'Angelo. She went to Greenwich Academy. Carrie D'Angelo from yeah. Greenwich Academy. Thank you for filling in that hole. Very good. Big hug for mom. Little handshake for dad. Number 13. Ryan Duffy, number three. No relation to Coach Duffy. No, oddly enough. He's got many kids that play hockey, but not this one. Just shares a name. Big boy, too. I find senior night to be very emotional. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it. You know, it's these kids play hockey from such a young age yeah and i know as a hockey parent myself you kind of get used to the rhythm of that and 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 when when this right. moment comes you're graduating as well yeah yeah you know for I mean? sure so, I suddenly mean, your saturdays and sundays are free yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah and you're not sure what to do with yourself yes and, you're, and your cars you know don't get a hundred thousand miles by the <laughs> right. fourth year and all the hockey moms i had affairs with yeah. that's over yeah no, that's done <laughs> get back back to back to normal yeah Lake Placid. Uh, oh, what happens in Lake Placid stays. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! It's a good thing this is our last broadcast of the year. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Cal Jacobs. Cal Jacobs, absolutely. Arico. Oh, Arico. Yep. We don't have him on our list here as a senior. Is he? I guess he is. Oh, yeah. No. We call you know him a junior, but I we've guess had, he's, a he's been on there as a junior all year. Well, he's a senior. I mean, maybe he's a junior who graduated early like Boyer. I did not graduate <laughs> early. Boyer graduated <laughs> high but school I like that. At, I like... at 14. Yeah. 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 On his way to becoming the brain of Britain. Runner up. <laughs> Runner up. You're, you remember what he missed in the final question? The answer was? Toast. Toast. Yeah. Of all the if, things to miss. If it was mustard, that would have been really oh, disappointing. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> I just didn't know that they also call it toast in England. I figured it would be something else. Some kind of like crumpet, crumpet related. Yeah, crumpet, yes. yeah. There we go. Scone. <laughs> Nick Sinisi. 
coming out. I met Nick's parents when they gave me a talking to for overselling the shutout one night. Oh, boy, you sure Using did. It wasn't just S-word. overselling. It was jinxing. I was well, jinxing. Well, jinxing. yeah. And yet what happened? Well, the, the, f- the boy got the shutout. The, the, first, yeah. the first time was a, like a little slip. And yeah. then after that, you, then just, I got stubborn. you just pushed the boulder down I, the hill. Yeah, I got boyer. I got I boyered it. Yeah. Boyered it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just said I'm... Remember, remember last broadcast where Boyer kept insisting that they had switched goals? Yes, yeah. Yes. And then I was later wrong. sent a sheepish text. I was wrong. I was wrong. <laughs> Three words. That's the first thing I did is I went home and I checked that. I was like, I, I feel like they switched. Frank Skibo coming out. He's had a nice season. One goal, four assists, five points on the year. Been a big presence on the ice. Big presence. Played really hard. Got uh, Made a lot of opportunities for others as well. Wow, not a big lineup over there at Fairfield Co-op. No. Not a lot of, not a lot of fellas. They have they, enough to get it done. They got <laughs> nine, what do they got, four, seven, ten, ten skaters and yep. a couple of goalies. Yeah. And over here, it's a sea of white. If that sea of white can just keep an eye on basically all their seniors. Yes. You know, I come out of here with a win. Oh, yeah, those but three you, you guys lose, look pretty You lose good. track of those guys, and it might be trouble. Oh, we just got thanked. Wow. Wow. That's a big night. Team photo happening here. We wow. just got called See, uh, out by yeah. none other than Rich Fulton. I Rich mean, come on. Fondue Rich Fondue Fulton. Fulton. Yeah. <laughs> the great fondue. <laughs> that's what they call him. Like the great ragu from Liberty <laughs> Shirley. Yeah. yeah, that's right. The great fondue. Yeah, we got a team photo going on here. I always think, you know, every school, the, the other team is always so patient because they know that at some point They'll be the every home. other team's going to have to be at home right. on their senior night. That's right. I always think about when they retire a player, in, like, in the professional level, and, they're, and it, those, those ceremonies go on for, like, an hour. Yes. And they're just sitting there like, that's yeah. cool, that's Gretzky out there, but uh, yeah. Yeah. we came here to play. Yeah. I'm getting cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Now, I hate to take focus away from the boys, but let me just show you one thing here. Because you, know you know my motto. I've said it from the beginning. Big night. Big night, big knot. Right? Oh, dear. And I have nailed the double Windsor tonight. Look at this. That is I tremendous. Mean, that is a triangle that, like, Pythagoras would be proud of. Look Pythagoras. at this thing. Pythagoras. Pythagoras. I love that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pythagoras. Look, look at this. Yes. You could actually... <laughs> I mean, come, oh my goodness. Look at yeah. that zoom. No, it's, right? it's very camera work. triangular. Right? Yeah, no, very, I'm how very long does that take you? It. How long do you, do you work on that? Oh, I almost missed the broadcast. I started at I, 2 I, o'clock. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, Senior night. I, I, I'm not phoning it in. Now, Boyer and I rock the half winter typically, but what I, what I don't understand is I almost lose, I almost run out of time. Like, I don't oh, know how okay. you can do it. You know now that yeah, you your said, little end has got to be like. Do you buy a winter tie? Now, now that you said that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come. <laughs> That's how long the, the small part I, I, is. I, I, I was going to keep you're, this zipped up all night. But this clean? is the kind of guy I am. Transparency. We got a problem. Oh, we got oh, a wow. problem down here. I'll admit that. That's we, ugly. That's ugly. We got a problem now. I didn't need to show that. No, no. I didn't need to show that. That's a long time. But I did. But once you, once you, I start. Once I didn't you start, lock that up, you're I'm not going to lock that up. You'll never yeah. see that. You're not going to. I'm sorry. You're not going to try no. to do it again after you've achieved no, no, that I, this, perfection. No, this, you can't mess with that. No, no. Let's go back to the ice. Okay. Okay. Now Ryan Timon has 24 goals on the season. That's that's more than Greenwich. That's a lot of goals. It's a lot of goals. Defense, number two, Defense, number no relation to the forests, right? That is, correct. That, up. that is correct, yes. Well, some relation to the forests, just not that forest. Yes. <laughs> like the Duffies. <laughs> exactly. All right, let's see who's getting the big start here on senior night. Orico.
D'Angelo. Trent O'Neill, another one that's had a really nice season. Yeah, it sure has. You know, one of the other things probably Kyle is uh, they have to say goodbye to the, you know, the hockey flow after this. Maybe yes. you don't get to just grow your hair long in the You're back. You're so right. You know, in the rest of life. You're so right. <laughs> Bowden Farmer and Nick Sinisi in the nets. And we will pause for the national anthem and be right back with you for some action here from Dorothy Hamill. All right, we are back live here at Dorothy Hamill. It is senior night. The Fairfield Co-op Falcons skating from left to right, wearing the blue with red, white, and blue trim, I guess you call it, and the Cardinals in the home whites with the red trim. Falcons took the opener five to two way back when. It's uh, end of January. End of January. This one will be a prelim to the FCAC rematch of these two teams coming up in, uh, on Saturday. Is that what you said, Jonesy? That is correct. The 24th of February. You know, last year, uh, these guys are coming in. Fairfield was coming in undefeated, and Greenwich pulled off a huge upset, yeah. which really turned their whole season around. Now, we're late in the season, and I'm not saying we're going to have a an upset here, but that would be sure something for Greenwich to go into the postseason by upsetting this team, especially yeah. because they're going to see them again. So, you know, there's a couple of things you see just from the statistics. One, you see a 10, 8, and 1 record, uh, but then a huge amount of goals, right? So huge this amount. Is, yeah. This is a, this is a, uh, a team that has, has a lot of offense and maybe not as strong a defense. Uh, and you can maybe infer that from the record. You might. The other thing you might infer is that. Um, Look, they've got 79 goals and 111 assists. Right. That means that for 30 or plus goals, they have a second assist. Right, right. That's, that suggests it's a good passing team. This exactly. Is a team that gets tip-tack-toe and then puts it in. Great point. That's the kind of stuff that the big brain brings you right there. And I he love that. He drops, if you had to infer on your bingo card, uh, check yeah, that No, you right got to infer. That's it's a, all inferences. <laughs> that's, a, that's some good analysis. <laughs> uh, it's very good. All right, we're underway. Trent O'Neill has it for the Cardinals. He'll wrap it around to D'Angelo. Up ahead to Allen. Picked off by Tymon. Quick shot. Saves an easy alert right from the beginning. And you know, if you it, remember that Notre oh, Dame started to yeah, yeah, Notre ahead. Dame game, they scored a goal, what, 11 seconds in? Yeah, it was almost, uh, I think it was on their first shot of the, yeah. Of yeah. the, of the uh, period. And, uh, you know, the one thing Greenwich has here, not just the one thing, but one big thing they have is uh, Nick Sinisi in net. He is really putting, a, despite the record, he has really been such a bright start, spot for the cards. Forrest dumps it in. Gilbride winding around to the near boards. Chipped up ahead. Skirts by. Two on one possible here. Oh. Jervis throws it around. Flynn throws the body. Comes back to the point. Kept in nicely by Matthews for a moment. But Forrest comes back the other way for the Falcons. Lofts a backhand in. Ends up in the glove of Nixon Easy. 
And well, the face-off upcoming, 14.05 just underway here. Senior night at Dorothy Hamill. Packed house, I must add. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. We've had good turnout this year. The Cardinal faithful, you've got to hand it to them. You really do. It's been, uh, I'd say, more impressive than I've seen in past years, even when the record was, uh, was quite different. Odelfelt on the draw, comes back to the point. Forrest on the backhand, ends up wound around. Lombardi tries to get it out, kept in by the Falcons. This is Lombardi, backhands it ahead to Aronson. Puck comes to center, whacked back in, delayed off sides, he'll have to touch up. This is Duffy. Puck goes back behind the net, Lombardi there for the Cardinals. He'll wind it up, goes all the way back down. See if this one goes yes, for an icing, yeah. and it does. I say Fairfield, for, they are putting a lot of pressure on the Cardinals right away. Yeah, but you know, you got to think that the Cardinals game plan here, right, is to outlast them for, you know, a period or two and then have better legs. Because, you know, the two lines, it, it eventually wears you down. Without question. This is that Fairfield co-op top line right now of Tymon, Flynn, and Sargent. Comes to center, Knopf. Good hustle by Allen. Puck goes deep, whacked back out. And now Flynn has it for the Falcons. Head man for Tymon, he'll tip it ahead. Farmer whacks it to Lewis along the board. Good check by Allen. Puck ends up back with Flynn at center. He'll throw it in. Behind the net, Farmer goes for it. Shovels it around to D'Angelo. And now Allen comes away with it for the Cardinals. Good break out there. To center. This is O'Neal. Shot wide. Lewis gets it back to the point to Farmer. He'll throw one on, but Forrest sticks it aside before it gets to the goal. Now Jervis has it. Backhands it behind the net. Lewis along the near boards. Puck comes to center. This is Timon now. Good back check by Farmer, slows it down. Brower clicks it ahead. Jervis. Miles McHugh stops that. And Farmer has it back for the Cardinals. Along the near boards. To the point. Forrest winds up with a wrister into the glove of Sinisi. And he'll hold. Great shot there. Nice Ma play there by Bowden Farmer. But you really saw that he was having a tough time finding someone to pass to on that breakout. Yeah. Right? Which just means that maybe the center wasn't in the right spot. And, uh, you know, he was just kind of jammed up. Yeah, he's getting jammed up. That's, that's I mean, something. Yeah. Fairfield's really pressing in, their, in, the, in their offensive zone leaving Greenwich on their heels a little bit. Puck to the point. Good block. Shot, good block by Johnson. Aronson shovels it deep. Johnson is there. Tries to get it back out. Puck still behind the net. Aronson fighting for it. Now Johnson helps. Wound back around, hits the netting. We'll have a face-off upcoming. Good hustle by Johnson and Aronson to keep that puck deep. You know what, Jonesy, maybe you can help me out with this. So now Fairfield Co-op, the reason that they can't be in the CIAC is because they cut players, because they're two different teams, but they still cut players. Is that why? No, no, no. no. Uh, they, they can't be in. They're a co-op, and they the enrollment of their school reached a level where, to where they don't have to be a co-op anymore. Oh. But between the, uh, between the two schools, hang on. Knopf takes it himself all the way down. Big burst of speed, gets a shot. Sinisi sticks it aside. Knopf still has it. Taken back by Greenwich. Headman gets through Holdsworth, and that'll end up being an icing. Yeah, so they, so Fairfield, want, they don't want to be excluded from the SEAC. The SEAC just says. No, but, but I thought it was because they have to take all comers as a co-op, but they decided not to. That's not right? No, no, no. Well, here's. I had a conversation with the coach okay. uh, before beforehand about this. We'll drop the puck we'll, here. We'll, we'll, we'll wait. We'll, we'll keep rolling with this.
Puck out to center. This is Forrest. Plays it up to Flynn off his stick. Duffy flicks it ahead. Skibo on the four check. Puck <laughs> wound around. Hamill bounce there. Hamill bounce. Flynn comes in across the line. Good check by Lombardi and then Jervis. But Forrest keeps in. Skibo comes back the other way. Cuts it back. Still Skibo. Skill now Skibo from his All knees. Right. Jervis has it. Shot broken up by Knopf. <laughs> Nervous, uh, Jervis on his knees. Puck comes all the way back down. No icing as it came off of a Greenwich player. And Duffy controls behind his net. Headman. Aronson to Farmer. To Lewis. Now to Lewis again. He leaves for Odelfelt. Can't quite get it in. Puck at center. Aronson has it. Lombardi shovels it back to center. Lewis has it on the backhand. Whips around, finds Odelfelt. Smart play, flicks it in. Odelfelt goes after it. Odelfelt still there. Nice check by Odelfelt there. Backhander by Aronson goes wide. He throws the body. Farmer now from the point. Tries to throw it on, but whacked back out by the Falcons. And here comes Zared. But in off sides is I believe Miles McHugh and we'll have a face off upcoming. 9.36 to go, first period. No score here at Hamill. So getting back to the, the uh, co-op thing. So with the co-op, the, the team isn't funded. If you have, they have to get their own funding because they're considered a co-op, which is an interesting factor. They had 50 kids registered to, to play, yeah. to sign up, come try out. Um, and it, by the second, or by tryouts, there was only 16 kids that showed up to play uh, at the varsity level. Uh, and then they only have like six JV players. So there was just a, a huge drop off. Good shot. Good shot on goal there. So, um, so in, interesting. So the, but it looks like to appearances on paper that they have 50, but actually there's not, they're not it, really it's there. It's not there. They were there. And, and if it, they had just 16 or whatever, then that would have been fine. And they would have been able to get into the, the CIAC. No, so that, that's the same thing. It, it, it winds down to the, the rule is because if, if you're a co-op on the boys' side, if you're a co-op, um, you, you, uh, they ma the SEAC makes you, not, you know, uh, ineligible, basically. And the girls' side, it's all co-ops, almost. Right. Flynn flicks the center. Timon has it. Can't get it in. Good check by Brower. Jervis has it. Clears the red line. Throws it in deep. Brower on the four check. Forces that quick play and an icing. Good hustle by Brower. Causes that icing. And we'll bring it all the way back down. No score here in Hamill. It's senior night. And one final thing on that, which I just remembered, is that every coach I've ever spoken to about the whole co-op thing and the Fairfield not being in the playoffs no one likes it they think that they absolutely yeah. think they should no, be in it there. makes sense yeah puck gets back to duffy at the point he throws it ahead for odelfeld wound around odelfeld stays with it good play with the body tries to center broken up by the falcons duffy throws one in the crowd puck is loose cardinals can't find the handle now odelfeld on the backhand gets it back to the point but taken by Forrest, top of the circle, shot paddled aside by Sinisi, good save. Lombardi has it now for the Cardinals. He backs it around over to Duffy, tries oh. to wind it up to Aronson, but hits the netting on the faceoff upcoming. Well, so far it's been kind of uh, punch counter punch. I mean, it's fairly even. I'd say that uh, Fairfield's had a lot, of, a lot more chances, but the uh, back and forth action seems to be pretty. Uh, that, and that, in that regard, is pretty even. Puck out, quick shot by Timon, saves Sinisi, and a good one. Puck comes to the point, kept in for by Knopf for a moment, but here comes Allen to center, crosses the blue line, brings it to the backhand, centering pass broken up by Timon, but Allen still has it on his stick, winds it back around. D'Angelo fights for it. Forrest is there, weaves around, good move, and he'll start up. This is Forrest. 
Chips one ahead to Sargent too far. Farmer back for it. He'll turn it back up the other way. Here comes Farmer. Still Farmer. Ridden off by Timon. Puck comes back to center. Uh, O'Neill plays it in his skates and gets it back in deep. Forrest kept in by Jervis, but back on the stick of Jarvis of uh, Forrest, and it comes all the way back down. We'll have an icing upcoming. So I like he, that you've called him now Jarvis. Jarvis, and nervous. Jarvis, nervous. Ner- nervous, Jarvis. He doesn't seem too nervous, though. He's not nervous. <laughs> He's, so- He's very solid. He's calm very solid. as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. He's a calm, cool cucumber. He's a calm, cool. <laughs> nope. All right, let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Jervis on the draw. Yeah, he started out at defense earlier this year, but now he's been playing mostly forward. That's Jervis. right. Gets removed for Lewis. Puck in the corner. Lewis backs it around. Flick to center. Taken back by Matthews, who gets it back in deep. Lewis throws the body on Forrest. Stalker winds it around, but Jervis has it. Centering pass on the backhand in front, dangerous. Good pinch by Gilbride, keeps it in for a minute, and now still in. Jervis tries to get it. Centering pass, shot! Huge save by Tristan Baker on the one-timer. Uh-oh. Falcons come back the other way. Gilbride banks it to Matthews. Back to Gilbride, but he's not there anymore, and Flynn has it in deep for Kleinberg. Nobody in front. Oh. Oh. Time in on the interception. Kept in by Forrest. He tries to get ahead. Odelfeld knocks that down. Puck along the near boards. Flicked up ahead. Cardinals control now. This is Gillibride. He'll settle it down. Winds it up to Aronson. Kept in at the point by Forrest. Cross ice timing. Shot hits the post. Boy, that was a nice pass and a, a great shot. One thing I'd say about this team is they have a very good shots. Yeah, absolutely. You, know, you, could, you know, there's wrist shots with a lot of power and pretty good accuracy. There's wrist right off the post. Yep. Sure thing. Dangerous chance there for the Falcons. But the goalie's best friend, the post, <laughs> the stepped old, up and did its job. The old red piece of iron there, baby. Allen on the draw. Puck is loose. Lombardi has it. Gets it up ahead to D'Angelo. Good pass to Duffy. Gets it to center. Pushed back in. Lombardi has it. Banks it too far for Rico. Forrest touches it. That'll wave off the icing. This is not. Four check on Arico. Forrest comes up with it. Over skates for a moment. Arico stays with it. Good hustle. Puck ends up in the netting. We'll have another faceoff. 525, first period. No score here at Hamill on senior night. No scar- score. And uh, so far, no penalties. So this period is really rolling by pretty quickly. You know, Greenwich is still, they're, they're faced with something they've been de- dealing with all season. They're not getting a big net front presence. They're not getting the puck in close. They're making some shots. They're getting behind the goal, but they're just not, they're just no one home to, uh, in the slot to, to put one in. We had like one or two opportunities, but that's, uh, that's about it. Jervis, Skibo, and Holtworth up front. Duffy and Lombardi on the back line for the Cardinals. This is Kleinberg. For the Falcons to Duffy. Throws it back ahead, but blocked down. Now taken back. This is Jervis on the backhand. Yep. Shot, Skibo! Baker is there. Shot Lombardi, fans on it. Sargent flicks it to center, but the Cardinals will control it. Sargent stays with it. Good hustle play. Tries to center. Duffy is there. Timon comes in. Puck wound around. Duffy will chase it down. Skibo and Kleinberg go for it. Now Lombardi. Jervis gets it up ahead. Back to center. Knopf cross ice for Kleinberg. 
He flicks it ahead, kicked out by Duffy. And Knopp comes back, he's got some speed. Duffy and Knopp collide along the near boards. Puck ends up back at center. Thrown back in by Zarid. And the Cardinals come back out. Aronson clears the red line, gets it deep. Forrest with a head of steam. Slowed down for a moment, but now comes to center. In across the blue line, dangerous. Boy. O'Neal throws the body, slows, slows Forrest down enough to break that play up, and it comes all the way back, no icing. Flynn is back for it. Watched by Aronson. 3.55 to go, first period, no score. Penalty upcoming against the Cardinals. This is Zarid. Still possession for co-op. Stalker. Delayed penalty called. <laughs> Finally touched by Teddy Johnson. Puck goes in, but of course that won't count on the delayed call. And it looks like Lewis is going to go. I thought the Falcons had pretty good discipline there, uh, moving it around, taking their time on the, uh, the, you know, waiting for their goalie to get yeah. off and try to play their six on five, five, you know, as long as they could. I thought that was pretty, pretty smart playing. Well, big opportunity here with 3.34 to go in the first. Orico on the draw for the Cardinals. Goes behind the net, centering pass. Good check by Orico, breaks that up, and Duffy winds it around but can't get it out. Timon keeps in. Co-op set up. This is Knopf. Shot goes wide near side. This is Kleinberg. He's dangerous. Gets it back to Forrest, to Kleinberg. These boys have a lot of goals. <laughs> Co-op. Centering pass. Shot! Score! Kleinberg! Tic-tac-toe! It's Forrest to Flynn to Kleinberg. Yeah. That's a sentence that's been said many times this season for the Falcons. Yeah, and here you watch it up. I mean, just set up so nicely. Give, go, give, go, bang. Terrific power play goal by Fairfield Co-op, and they're up one nothing. That's how you draw it up. That's why you got to keep your feet moving and keep your head on the swivel if you're a defenseman. Here they come again, now broken up. This is Skibo, turns back. The co-op still has it, now Skibo. Good hustle, gets it out to Jervis. Jervis gets a shot, but Sargent gets a stick on it and it goes up into the netting. Jervis always dangerous with that quick wrister, but Andrew Sargent was there for the Falcons. And that, as we spoke about earlier in the pregame, there, there's your possibly your answer for why there's so many assists yeah on no, the, just on like the team. Just, just like we were talking about just, yeah getting just, two assists on every goal is, yeah that that was very very pretty they only gave two according to to rich fulton but there were you know or uh, one assist but i think there were two yeah i agree odelfeld bangs it up and that will go for an icing 230 to go one nothing fairfield co-op on a Beautiful power play goal by number nine, Sawyer Kleinberg. Some real precision passing there. Flynn and Odo felt on the draw. Cards come away with it. This is Holdsworth to center. Watched by Timon. Timon will cut him off and play it back to Forrest. Forrest flicks it to Flynn. He'll bang it in. Farmer back for it. Leaves for Holdsworth. Smart play. But Forrest throws it back toward the net. O'Neal to Farmer to Holdsworth. Holdsworth gets to center. Knopf cuts him off. Odelfeld comes in. Puck along the near boards. Timon fights for it. Odelfeld digs for it. Holdsworth is there. Farmer is there. Forrest is there. Big scrum. And now Odelfeld 
flicks it ahead, but it just gets up into the rafters, and that'll be a face-off upcoming. 150 to go here, first period. Co-op up one nothing. It was interesting on that play. Forrest totally boxed him out. You know, it was uh, it, it was sort of borderline interference. Yeah. But it was kind I saw of, the it same was a, thing. It was I think it was interference. Like a kick, yeah. right. It could have been, yeah, the puck was close enough, but he didn't really have possession of it, nor was he taking it off the uh, Greenwich player's stick. So, But he did it in a way that it, it like, he, he did it with his back almost. So yeah. it didn't look like he was, you know, coming right at him and holding him. It, he it, almost did it kind of with his back to him. Exactly. It was really clever. Yeah, it was a clever move. This is D'Angelo. Flicks one in. Lewis is there along the near boards. Gets it to Duffy at the point. Shot broken up by Kleinberg. Now D'Angelo. Centering pass. Shot saved Baker on the Allen backhand. Chance there for the Cardinals. Lombardi kicks it ahead. Now Forrest whacks it back to center. This is Lombardi. Broken up. The cards come back the other way. Jervis. Oh, he got oh, the trip. Yep. Taken down by Forrest, and that'll be a trip. And Cardinals he, will have a power play I, opportunity. I may have said this a little earlier, but, like, uh, you know, I said, I think the one worry you might have is that the Falcons could be a little top-heavy. They could have one really strong line, yeah. and then one line of juniors and sophomores, maybe not as assured, maybe not as quick. And I think that that was the line we just saw, and you started to see, oh, Cardinals could have an edge here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And they were able to draw a penalty. 53 to go in the first period. Opportunity here for the Cardinals to get the equalizer. Skibo walks it in. Puck behind the net. Cleared down by Co-op. Sinisi will leave it for Farmer. And Bowden Farmer will start up. Good outlet pass for Jervis, but it's whacked back in. Farmer has it, 30 to go, first period. Flicks it to himself, a little too far, comes back the other way. O'Neal gets it at center. Up to Brower, shot on goal, stick to side. Wound back out, kept in by the Cardinal. Centering pass for Jervis, can't find the handle. 15 to go. Farmer cross ice, shot O'Neal. Yes! Score! Whoa. Top shelf from the point, O'Neal ties it up with 10 seconds to go. It's one to one. That is a big goal at the right at the right time. Great play here by Farmer, as usual. Gets a pass, throws it right over to his partner, and he just rips the wrister. Top cheddar bar down. Goal. Good hustle by Jervis in the corner to get that puck back to Farmer. That started it. Farmer threw it across, and Trent O'Neill just top shelf, highlight reel wrister. And that's how you want to go into the locker room right there. They should have stopped the clock there. There was an icing with a couple seconds left, and they let the clock run. Ref is talking it over. If I were the Cardinals, I'd want that that face off. But the Falcons uh, are that, already heading to the locker yeah, room. The they're smart way, they're it just out of like, here. hey, let's get out of here. But it was absolutely uh, there were there were two seconds left there. They put two seconds back on the clock. That is the correct call. I saw that happen. <laughs> I want to see what happens to these five Falcons who are halfway to the locker room right now. I guess they're coming back. This is the correct move. They do need to drop that puck, and with two seconds, you never know. It's hockey. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Lee Malazzo going with the Jeopardy music. Yep, it's a good idea. Let's go. Get your, get your answers in. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle Allen will take the draw. I think he's looking for Gilbride for the one-timer. Not much time to do much else than that. Yeah, it's got to be a pretty clean draw here. It's got to be right to Gilbride and bang. It could happen. It could. Kleinberg will take the draw for Fairfield. And that will do it for period one. Here from Dorothy Hamill, 
senior night. Well, an exciting first period, fellas. Yes, indeed. Felt like uh, pretty even play, I thought. Uh, definitely some, some some opportunities for, for co-op, but I feel like the cards are skating with them. What did what did you think, Andrew Boyer? Yeah, I know. I think, uh, you know, I'm sticking to my original analysis, which is that you have that one really strong line that, you know, they can really move the puck, they can really pass it, and they can score, and yep. you really got to contain them, and you got to be on them 100%. But then you're going to get your opportunities maybe on the second line. Right. And, uh, and we just saw Greenwich do that, which was great. And, and not, to, not to mention they're playing with a pretty short bench. So they're really just going with those two lines. So yeah. there can be some fatigue. And they're only going with three defensemen. So there's a moment. Yeah, there can be moments where there's chinks in the armor. You know I mean? I thought yeah. everybody played really well. Yeah. But you, if, you, if you can take advantage of those things, which you, as we know in hockey, every moment, every chance you get, you gotta, you got to convert. All right, we're going to take a break here from Dorothy Hamill. It is 1-1, Fairfield and Greenwich. Your goal scorers are uh, Kleinberg for a co-op and Trent O'Neill for the cards. Senior night, we will be right back after these words from our sponsors. Hello, hon. Hey, can I get a special? You got it. One special. Can I have a big boy? Sure. One big boy, please. Okay. Seriously? One boss. Karen's Cost Copper is a family owned restaurant located at 31 East Putnam Avenue. We're a favorite among local residents, as well as those just passing through. We are open seven days a week, serving lunch and dinner. On the weekends, we also offer delicious breakfast and brunch menus. Stop on in and find out why Karen's Cost Copper is for people who love friends, family, and good food. So come give Cost Copper a shot! up at 9 Cardinal Road. Visit Nantaco.com to pre-order a family meal to pick up after the game or just to stop by. Gracias and enjoy! Nantaco! In the past two years, the GAF has raised money to purchase and install numerous enhancements for Greenwich High School, including new gymnasium bleachers, state-of-the-art sound system at Dorothy Hamill Rink, new array speakers at Cardinal Stadium, and the new stadium scoreboard. You can visit us at GreenwichAF.com and hit the giving button at the top of the webpage. The Greenwich Athletic Foundation, driven to improve our high school sports experience. Looks like they want three dudes.
Hello, hon. Hey, can I get a special? You got it. One special. Hi, can I have a big boy? Sure. One big boy, please. Okay. Seriously? One boss. Karen's Cost Copper is a family-owned restaurant located at 31 East Putnam Avenue in Cost Cop. We're a favorite among local residents, as well as those just passing through. We're open seven days a week, serving lunch and dinner. On the weekends, we also offer delicious breakfast and brunch menus. Stop on in and find out why Karen's Cost Copper is for people who love friends, family, and good food. So come give Cost Copper a shot! up at 9 Cardinal Road. Visit Nantaco.com to pre-order a family meal to pick up after the game or just to stop by. Gracias and enjoy! Nantaco! In the past two years, the GAF has raised money to purchase and install numerous enhancements for Greenwich High School, including new gymnasium bleachers, state-of-the-art sound system at Dorothy Hamill Rink, new array speakers at Cardinal Stadium, and the new stadium scoreboard. You can visit us at GreenwichAF.com and hit the giving button at the top of the webpage. The Greenwich Athletic Foundation, driven to improve our high school sports experience. Looks like they want three dudes. Perhaps a bottle of rosé instead. 
Hello, hon. Hey, can I get a special? You got it. One special. Hi, can I have a big boy? Sure. One big boy, please. Okay. Seriously? One boss. Karen's Cost Copper is a family-owned restaurant located at 31 East Putnam Avenue in Cost Cobb. We're a favorite among local residents, as well as those just passing through. We're open seven days a week, serving lunch and dinner. On the weekends, we also offer delicious breakfast and brunch menus. Stop on in and find out why Karen's Cost Copper is for people who love friends, family, and good food. So come give Cost Copper a shot! up at 9 Cardinal Road. Visit nantaco.com to pre-order a family meal to... And we are back here at Dorothy Hamill getting ready for the start of period 2. 1-1. One, one. Fairfield Co-op started it with senior Sawyer Kleinberg on a beautiful tic-tac-toe power play goal and then with 10 seconds left the Cardinals got a power play goal of their own by number 14, Trent O'Neill, a sophomore. Didn't get the memo that tonight's senior night. Exactly. He said, hey, hey, I'm sorry. I'm a sophomore, but I'm going to score. Yeah, exactly. Can't if blame any, the kid. If any of you seniors want to tip it in, go yeah, for it. Yeah, but yeah. I don't really need that. You can't, but... can't blame the kid. <laughs> no, not can't at all. Can't blame the kid. All right, we are underway here. Good hockey game so far. Co-op lugs it in. Sinisi covers it up, face-off upcoming. As we've been mentioning, Co-op playing with a very short bench. Two lines, a couple of deep pair with that. And they don't have a they don't have a big bench to begin with, and they had two kids come up sick. Or one one was sick and one got injured, so that knocks them down two more. Allen flicked it ahead but went for an icing. We'll come all the way back. Just underway, second period. 1-1 one, one here. Cardinals go with Jervis, Brower, and Skibo up front. O'Neal and Farmer on the back line. Co-op's got their, the big boys out. Tymon, Flynn, and Sargent. This is Jervis. Surrounded by Blue. Still Jervis. Takes it deep, tries to center, hits Knopf in the skate. Skibo has it. He'll circle back. Shot in front. Save Baker. Saucered up ahead, too far for Sargent and knocked back in by the Cardinals Farmer. This is Forrest. He'll bank it around to Knopf. Tries to get it back to Farmer, but Brower is there. Kept in now far, uh, by Farmer at the point. Forrest. 
Hyman lugs it to center, ends up back on the stick of Knopf. Feathers one ahead for Sargent. Icing waved off, O'Neill leaves for Farmer. This is Bowden Farmer. Banks it ahead to Brower who flicks it to center. Skibo has it. Good play here by the Cardinals. Gets it in across the line. He's surrounded. Pulled down from behind by Kleinberg. Oh. And that's going to be a penalty and a power play opportunity for the Cardinals. Looks like an interference call. Yeah. I think he sold it pretty well. He sold it pretty well. Yeah, it's uh, that's a pretty obvious one right there, You know, because when you're one guy going into the middle of four. Yeah. And then you fall. And then you, and there's yeah. a presumption, I guess, that somebody did something. Yeah. Well, but I don't think he typically would fall on his own, though. He no, did, no, I'm not he, saying it he, didn't happen. He got it. He got I'm some just help. saying when one guy goes into a pack of four, it's like, yeah, it's, you, it's tricky to come out of that without anything except, but to come out with a penalty is a win. Exactly. exactly Big opportunity right. here for the Cardinals to go up 2-1. Both power play goals in the first period. Lewis won the draw, but it's whistled back down, and they'll do it again. Miles McHugh on the draw. Now Farmer has it, throws it ahead, dangerously goes through. Gilbride pinches, keeps it in. Good play by Gilbride and gets it in deep. Back to the point, Shoot. off a skate, and co op will clear. Sinisi slows it down for Bowden Farmer. Starts up to Lewis. Good outlet to Gilbride in across the line. Throws it behind the net. Forrest banks it around, but Farmer keeps in at the point. Up to Lewis. Cardinal set up on the power play now. Leaves for Far Farmer. Shot doesn't get through. Back to Farmer at the point. Slows it with his skate. Back behind the net. To Lewis. But taken back by Co-op and banked on down a minute to go. Sinisi tries to get it back out, but Co-op is there. Thrown back around, Knopf in deep. We got a whistle. I don't know if that was an offsides. What was that? I don't know what that was. Too ref, many men? Ref is making a motion of some kind. He's making a toilet bowl motion. You oh. know what that is? That's uh, someone gave someone a swirly. <laughs> I was going to say the same, yeah. the never, same stupid thing. I've yeah, never exactly. seen the, the toilet bowl motion. Oh, it's a penalty. Maybe a bench penalty. Odelfelt is going to serve it. Let's see what the call is. I think it may have been too many men on the ice. It could have been, yeah. I didn't see any play in the action. But nonetheless, it's going to be four on four for a minute. We'll listen to the announcement and try to get it for you. I think it might have been a bench minor. Hayden Odelfelt will serve it. And it'll be four on four for a minute. And then a power play for co-op. Yeah, yep, too many men on the ice it is. Skibo, four on four now, for a minute. In across the blue line. Sargent tries to bank it back out, but goes into the Cardinals bench. And we'll have a face-off upcoming with 37 seconds to go on the four on four. And then a minute one on a Fairfield power play. The whole first period, I don't think we had a single penalty. Now we've had two in the first two and a half minutes well we did one. have two because both goals actually came on power plays oh that's right except you're right. for those you're it right. was a you're pretty right. clean first but it's pretty clean first yeah you're right you're right this is Holdsworth and Timon on the draw co-op comes away with it Flynn up ahead to Forrest centering past to Jervis oh, big hit Flynn knocks him down and Knopf comes away with it. Jervis stays with it. Puck to center. Duffy flicks it ahead, and Tynan has to go back for it. 15 to go on the four-on-four. Four. Winds it up to Flynn. Flynn along the near boards. He'll take it to center. Cross the red line now across the blue line. Gets it back to Knopf. Knopf on the backhand. Sets it up. Power play begins. Good play by Duffy. Winds it back around, but taken back by Co-op. This is Knopf, centering pass, sticked aside by Sinisi, and comes back out to center. 45 to go in the power play. Knopf looks for Forrest. Forrest gets it. He's stood up by Allen. Centering pass, goes all the way back down, and the Falcons will have to regroup. This is Knopf. 
Dangerous power play unit here to Forrest in across the blue line. Winds it around, chance for Allen here. Two on one developing, had D'Angelo, but great play by Forrest to break that up. And now Timon comes away with it. Cross ice to Kleinberg, he's your goal scorer. D'Angelo shovels it ahead, eight seconds to go and that. Solid kill there by the Cardinals. That was definitely. That will take care of the power play, we're back to even strength. Forrest throws it ahead. Farmer is there. He'll corral it back for the Cardinals. Banks it to center. Timon controls. Flicks one on. Sinisi gloves it down. Nice save. Plays it to Farmer. <laughs> if that had bounced, it probably, he could have gone in. Yeah, yep, he played it on the air. It was smart. Hudson Stalker controls it, right? Wap wraps it around to Timon. Kept in by Gilbride with his skate. Good play. Teddy Johnson keeps it in, now Holdsworth tries to center. Johnson on the backhand, save alertly by Baker. Gilbride keeps it at the point. Shot blocked down. Shot again by Farmer, oh. doesn't get through. Shot, Johnson, good chance. Baker, big save. Lewis throws the body, puck behind the net, bodies everywhere. Oh, Just oh. scoots by Farmer and Gilbride will have to retrieve it. Holdsworth, oh, bad banging bounce. his stick, hits a bad bounce and Flynn comes away with it. Now Kleinberg shot through Gilbride's legs using uh, Gilbride as a screen, but Sinisi is there, end-to-end -end actions and chances in both directions. Good, good heads-up play here by both sides. Yeah, that was dangerous there. Two-on-one developed on Sinisi, but he played it perfectly. Yeah, Nick's not giving up too many rebounds. Puck in front, Skibo controls. Now Aaron, uh, now Brower, Sargent throws the body on him. Puck back at center. Duffy turns, fires back. Puck ends up behind the net and that actually goes as an icing, will come all the way back. I should know this, but it's not red line, it's blue line icing, right? It is blue line icing. Yeah, so it's just over the blue line. Oh, oh, no. No, it's oh, no, red no, 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 it's red line. Red line. Yeah, it's red line. Oh, okay. I'm, thinking, I'm thinking of something else. Yeah, it's definitely red line icing. I know what you're thinking of. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Flynn <laughs> and Jervis on the draw. Gets back to Kleinberg, can't control it. Good pass by Jervis, just too far for Skibo off his stick. Puck comes back along the near boards, kept in at the point by Lombardi. He'll throw it ahead. This is Forrest. Watched by Gilbride and Brower. Good pinch by Lombardi, keeps in. The puck ends up back at center. This is Skibo. Lombardi banks it ahead, and that will That's be an icing. 1-1, yep. first period. Packed house, senior night, our last broadcast of the season. Yeah, typically we'd get maybe one or two more with some home games during the tournaments, the FCAC and the uh, CAC, but this year, um, Greenwich is going to be on the road based on their record. We don't really do away games anymore, do we? No, I mean, well, we did one last Shot year. Shot from the point, gloved down by Sinisi. And that was, well, actually, we did the FCAC game up in Ridgefield last yeah. year where uh, Greenwich upset Richfield in the early rounds of the FCX. Good quick wrister by Hudson Stalker, but Nick Sinisi was there to glove it down. This is Odelfelt and Tynan on the draw. Odelfelt wins it. Puck along the near boards. Johnson to center. Odelfelt crosses the red line, gets it deep. Aronson chases with Flynn. Oh, uh, sorry, Matthews throws it in. Puck along the near boards. Scrum there. Odafell comes away with it. Ends up with Gilbride. Throws it on. Broken up. Back to the point. This is Matthews. Throws it ahead. Now Tymon comes back the other way. Uh -oh. Flynn on a breakaway. Hits Flynn. Shot saves Sinisi. Huge save here. 7.47 to go in the second period. And that was a great breakaway. Nice seam pass. But Sinisi comes up huge. 
This is Flynn. Watched by Matthews. One timer by Zarid, but Sinisi is there. D'Angelo. Zarid flicks it behind the net. Matthews winds it up ahead. Icing waved off. And Puck played back into center. This is Kleinberg up ahead for Timon. Matthews, now O'Neill. O'Neill flicks it ahead to D'Angelo. He leaves for Allen. Good play to himself, two on one. Great pass for Arico. Had to slow up to stay on side. And now we've got a whistle, a tripping call. Was it the trip on Orico? Let's I, see I who it was, it was against. I think so. I think, I think that's going to go against Fairfield. Let's see what they call it. It was a good pass by D'Angelo. You know, Orico had to slow up a little bit just to, to catch that pass. And it let the Fairfield get to him. But if they got the uh, penalty, it was worth it. They're sorting it out here. It looks like Forrest is going to the box for a trip. And a big power play opportunity here for the Cardinals who go with Jervis, Skibo, and Brower up front and Farmer and your goal scorer Trent O'Neill on the back line. Co-op controls the faceoff, throws it all the way down. Big opportunity here for the Cardinals. This is O'Neill. Oh. Pass to Farmer. He weaves back to center. Crosses the red line. He'll dump it in. Puck behind the net. Brower goes for it. Kleinberg plays to the side. And O'Neill controls to Farmer. Shot! Trickles through. Shot by Jervis. Doesn't get through. Big chance for the Cardinals there. Kleinberg. Jervis plays him. Now Knopf will be able to saucer one all the way down. Sinisi plays it up to Farmer. Couple of big chances there for the Cardinals on the power play. Outlet pass too far for Skibo and Knopf will whack it back in to take some time off the clock. This is Farmer to O'Neill. In across the red line to the blue line. Leaves for Skibo. Throws it in front. Brower gets a stick on it but goes wide. Face off uh, will up come here as the uh, net, net, net is, is off, off the yeah. moorings. Yep. You know, that was a really nice looking power play shift by Greenwich. You know, what I, what I think they did well is they brought it in over the blue line, dumped it in, and then just made sure that they put the body on everybody who got to it. Right. And then, you know, they used the extra men to pick it up and start moving it around. And, like, that's, that was terrific. It's yeah. a great, great way to start that uh, just that setup. Lewis, yep. Odafelt, and Holdsworth up front here on the power play with Farmer and Gilbride back. Cards win the draw, but it ends up back at center. Gilbride has to retrieve it. 47 to go on the power play. Banked ahead, but taken by Flynn. Timing controls. Throws one wide. This is Lewis. Banks it ahead too far for Gilbride. Co-op bangs it back in. Now Odofelt will start up. Takes it to center. In across the blue line. Leaves for Holdsworth. Shot goes wide. And flicked all the way back down. 17 to go. Power play just about done. Couple of chances there, but nothing that rang the register. A great play by Knopf, pulling that one out of the air. And Holdsworth controls, back to even strength. Flicks ahead to Farmer, gets a stick on it. Shot to Lewis, saves! Baker, great play, kept in now. By Skibo, throws it ahead. This is Odelfelt working. Tries to get it on, does. Puck behind the net, Holdsworth. Holdsworth plays the body on Forrest. Penalty upcoming. I think Holdsworth's going to go for Hit him from behind. Hitting from behind. Yeah, charge it. Thrown all the way down, and as Sinisi touches it, I think Holdsworth is going to go. I think that's when I saw the hand go up. Yeah, the numbers. Uh, saw the, the numbers. Other, the other thing that happened is that Knopf took a pretty big hit uh, and kind of they were five on four because he was kind of limping off the ice. Yeah. And it looked like he's gone back to get looked at. So. Well, let's take a look and see if I'm right. 
Yes, it is Holdsworth, George Holdsworth, number 10, the junior getting called. It was a tough uh, physical play there. It's one of those things where you're throwing the body just as the guy turns. Yeah. Not an overly dirty play, just a, a hockey play, but you got to call that. You got to call it, yep. Player safety, number one. Fairfield going with the big boys here. This is Flynn on the, def the defensive position. Flynn and Forrest on the back line. They got a lot of firepower out here. This is Forrest captaining the power play to time into Flynn. Throws a head off the stick of Allen, goes up into the netting. It's interesting to see if uh, Knopf comes back. He's uh, on the ice right now. He Knopf. is? Okay. Number two. Oh, there he is. Okay, I didn't yeah. spot him. Well, that's good. This is Knopf with it now. Gets it back to the point. Forrest leaves for Timon. Back to Forrest. Center. Throws it up ahead to Knopf. He winds it back, kept in by Timon at the point. Timon circles. Throws it behind to Knopf. The Timon shot goes behind the net. Knopf centering pass. Broken up. Netting comes off. Net comes off, we'll have a face-off upcoming. A lot of control on this power play. Yeah, absolutely. It's they got, I mean, th those guys, those uh, their top line is just really impressive. Timon, Kleinberg, Flynn, Knopf, and Forrest. Every one of these boys can put the puck into the net. D'Angelo. Matthews, Aronson, and Skibo will try to kill it. Good play by Aronson, flicks it out to center. A minute eight to go in the power play. Puck to Flynn and across the line, they'll try to set it up. This is Flynn watched by Matthews. Cardinals in the box. Back to far to the top. Tries to load up a wrister, takes it deep behind the net. Centering pass, stick to side by Sin by Sinisi, comes back to Kleinberg, to Timon. Forrest one timer, Skibo got a stick on that to send it wide. The co-op controls, this is Forrest again, top of the circle, gets a deep centering pass for Timon. Can't get the shot back to Forrest at the point. Whistles one, saves Sinisi, shot, score! Ended up on Timon's stick, it just kinda trickled in behind Sinisi. He made a terrific save on the first one but an unlucky rebound, and the Fairfield Co-op Falcons take a 2-1 lead on another power play goal. And that shot was ripped up high, and like you said, Sinisi made a, made a good first save on that, but couldn't control the rebound, and time it taps it in. Two forty-six to go, second period. Fairfield Co-op has taken the lead. It was Flynn oh, it was on the Flynn. goal. I think Tyman was nearby. I had a feeling that was the case. Yeah, it just trickled in off of Flynn. Jervis takes it deep. Fairfield Co-op flicks back out. That will go for an icing. Come all the way back. 2.17 to was go. A, was a was that a power play goal? It was a power was play another goal. One. Yeah, I wasn't sure if time had expired yet. Uh, boy, all goals tonight coming on power plays. It was a, a wicked Rista from it's the a point wicked Rista. by Forrest. <laughs> Sinisi made the save, and then it just kind of trickled in. I think it may have just hit Flynn in the body. It was a little hard to see there. Maybe he tapped yeah. it in. Shot by Farmer goes wide. O'Neal... Throws it behind the net to D'Angelo. D'Angelo played by Forrest, good play. D'Angelo, that's gonna be another power play against the Cardinals once, uh, once again, a penalty. I think D'Angelo's gonna go for another check in the back. Huh. Malaza playing smooth criminal, of course. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, 2.05 to go and another power play here for Fairfield. They have been extremely dangerous on the power play. And here they go again. Kleinberg gets it set up. Back to Forrest. Takes it to the center. Slap shot. Sinise, oh. Sinise saves it and holds on. That was a bomb. Does not give up the rebound. That was how they scored the last one. Flynn and Arico on the draw. Arico wins it, and the Cardinals will be able to clear. This period will end on the power play unless Fairfield scores. Good saucer pass ahead to Flynn. Watched by O'Neill. Good defensive play by O'Neill. Takes the body, slows that down. But Kleinberg controls for the Falcons. Takes up top. Leaves for Timon. Time into Forrest, top of the circle, shot through a crowd, broken up by O'Neill, but Co-op still controls. This is Forrest again, takes the center, back to Kleiman, top of the circle, chips it ahead, back, that's, give and go. That's the move. Good play, but they don't get the solid shot. It's, uh, we'll talk about it between the period, but it's such a good power play, uh, in zone power play move they do. Forrest gets it deep, O'Neill is there, rides him off. Allen backs it, backhands it out to center. 50 seconds to go in the power play, 54 in the period. This is Knopf, he's got wheels. Good play by Arico. O'Neill tries to clear, can and now does. Forrest back for it, one more rush. Sinisi clears it himself. Allen whacks at it. Good play by Arico to help. Falcons come back with it. This is Knopf and across the line. Throws one high and wide. Kept it at the point. This is Flynn. Now to Kleinberg. Throws it up behind the net. Netting comes off or the face off. Nine seconds in the power play, 14 in the period. That net seems to get mighty loose down there, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it's come off a lot. Flynn and Lewis on the draw in deep Cardinal territory. 14 to go in the period. Nine seconds to go in the power play. Farmer controls, banks it to center. Timon throws one ahead, blocked by Lombardi. Puck in front, a little dangerous. Now in the corner, centering pass as the period winds down. So the Cardinals do come away with... Uh, that kill but unfortunately for the Cardinals the Falcons did penetrate on the power of play before on a goal by number 18 Ryan Flynn and the Cardinals go up two to one the Falcons have a very effective power play it, you know what yeah. they do that's really nice is like you know, a lot of times the power play people are sort of playing dots you know playing in their sort of zone where they're yeah static but what they do is they have one of the defense, one of the forwards pull into the corner, and once he's the, the defenseman sees that, he passes it into the corner and then charges into the net and gets the give and go and then shoots. Yeah. And we saw that for the first goal, and they almost did it again. It's a really nice-looking power Yeah, play. it's really nice. It's really well done. Yeah, a lot of control, a lot of puck movement, and one of the reasons they have uh, so many goals as a unit. Um, all right, well, it's the last one of the season. Yes. And there's only one reason that people tune into this broadcast. <laughs> well, two reasons. Well, that, this, oh, is why we, is. this is why we delay. We wait until between the second and third because we don't want people drifting off between the first and second. I mean, if you we look at the ratings graphs, the minute the, the bomb is it's over, incredible. they're gone. Oh, yeah. I mean, you think that, you know, Kyle Allen's grandparents in Duluth, Minnesota are watching. Oh, for sure. For, they, to see Kyle. They have to be. They're not. They're not. They want to see this guy. They're plugging it in. They're, um, they're, <laughs> they're set and record on their VCR, and there they go. Yep, there they go. <laughs> All right, my friend, it's the last knowledge bomb of the season. What do you got? Well, you know, uh, 
You know when a sitcom runs out of ideas, what they do is they go to a clip show a little bit. Oh, yeah. Well, this is a little bit of a clip show of a knowledge bomb. They oh. all are, kind of. Oh. But this one, okay. this is, I, you know, I want to talk a little about the sort of the people who innovate in hockey and kind of change the game. And, uh, and I think there's three types. I think the first type is the ones who are kind of at the top of the game, and then they just they need to push it a little bit further. Uh, and I think that the gr greatest example, I think, is Hobie Baker, who is the, the young player from, from, from Princeton who was, he was like a lights-out um, player. He learned to play in the dark out in St. Paul's school. But a lot of people don't know. That's like a Cliff Clayton. A lot of people don't. Little known fact. Little known fact, um, Cliff He Clayton. actually <laughs> was the first guy to kind of shave off the toe and oh, the really? back of his blades. He actually made his own skates. Um, and that actually allowed him to do among a lot of different things. It's what hockey skates are now, you know, where right. they're not flat. And, um, and that's where the Hobie Baker Award comes from, the people that have the nicest blades on no, their skates. No. The best uh, college player gets the Hobie Baker Award. <laughs> oh. But you know what he could do? I'm the opposite what of he the knowledge What bomb. he could do with those, <laughs> with those skates is he could skate backward. And that was, like, what really set him apart back then yeah. was because backward skating really wasn't part of hockey back then. And, you know, there's it's a lot. for of, me now. And there's a, lot of, there's a lot of other sort of stories. These guys who were at the top of the game, like Stan Makita, came up with the curb stick. I think we've right. talked about that. Yes. Uh, and then that, of course, uh, led, led to Plant, who was one of the great goalies, putting on a face mask because all of a sudden the pucks were coming in a little bit higher. Yeah. So he kind of originated that. And that, of course, led to the butterfly that led to Patrick Roy, uh, Roy, or Roy, or how do we pronounce Roy. it? Roy. Yeah. Um, uh, developing the, the pads now that... You know the right. pro the pro fly pads where you yep. can where you can basically fall down and they spread. So th these are all people who like they were the the best at what they did, and then they created kind of equipment to right. to push them to the next level. Uh, the second, However, the second type. No, I'm waiting <laughs> for the turn. Oh. Uh, it's not there yet. I'm it, helping you. I'm it was sorry. good. No, that was almost the turn. So <laughs> the second the, se <laughs> the second type right are the type who are kind of like the reverse innovators. These are the guys who actually. Uh, create something, then they have to create a rule to kind of stop them, right? So I think Rob Ray would be a great um, example. He was a like a fighter and enforcer, and he innovated by he sewed his pads into his shirt, and so that basically when he'd get in a fight, he would in one smooth motion pull his shirt and pads off, and then you know they couldn't grab his shirt to right. fight him, and so he would he had a huge advantage in all ah. the fights he did because he would be sort of bare chested and they couldn't grab him. And so the reason that there are tie downs, a lot of people think the reason we have tie downs in the NHL is so that you can't, you know, lift the shirt over somebody's head. That's and right. what I thought. Yeah, yeah. That, it's actually not. It's because it's because they didn't want people to, to like completely take off their shirt. Right. And then have a huge advantage. So those are the second type. Second, type, but my favorite type of. However, that's the turn. However, <laughs> my favorite, my favorite innovator. We're going to talk about Charles Finley. Uh, oh. And uh, do you know who Charles oh, Finley is? Of course, Absolutely. yes. You lie. You don't know. You, you Charles, know the owner of the uh, the Oakland Athletics. That, exactly that's, right. That's right. White yeah. skates. The, exact, the golden seals. The golden seals. So yeah. you know about the white skates. He never. He he innovated. He, he didn't like. There was an innovation he didn't like. He liked. He was like the Bill Vec. Yeah, Bill yeah. Vick. Yeah. He just like he was an idea guy, yeah. right? So Absolutely. like, maybe we should put a live seal on the ice for this. <laughs> and they did that. And uh, yes, they did Cooperalls, and they did famously the white skates for the right. the golden seals, which. When Gretzky went to his first, that was the first game he ever went to, Wayne Gretzky is a young boy, and he's like, I hope when I get to the NHL, I don't have to wear white skates. <laughs> right. uh, um, but my favorite thing that his innovation, uh, oh, he also innovated the idea of putting uh, names on the backs of jerseys. That, ah. that actually stuck. He, so he did, he, did, he did do that. But the, the best thing that Charles Finley did, I don't know if you know this story, but he had a baseball team, right? And he had the uniforms, wanted to look like the baseball team. And he's like, you know, what's working in baseball it really brings them in? is having a streaker on the field. Mm. How do you do a streaker in hockey? It's not easy. No. They, he literally hired a lady with black skates, 20-year-old um, <laughs> woman, to get naked and skate out on the ice really? so they could have a streaker that is in phenomenal. ice hockey. Because he's like, that worked in baseball. That is phenomenal. And so, like, yeah. and so they actually paid someone to be a streaker. That is amazing. So that's innovation. That's good. And that's your knowledge bomb. That's the last one of the season. That's we'll see good. you here next year. That's good. <laughs> Very that's well a good done. closer. Very yeah. well done. That's a good yeah. closer. Yeah. And he naked. closed it with the naked lady. He naked did. lady. <laughs> the guy's a genius. A, <laughs> reason, he's a, there's a reason he's the second smartest man in Britain right here. Um, toast. 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 God, it's so hard. So sorry. Seems so easy. I know. Now. Right.
Um, all right, do we have a close? Oh, we don't close it up. All right. Um, all right, we're going to take a break here. We will be back for period three, two, one, Fairfield Co-op up on the Cardinals. Uh, we will see you in just a moment. Hello, hon. Hey, can I get a special? You got it. One special. Hi, can I have a big boy? Sure. One big boy, please. Seriously? One boss. Karen's Cost Copper is a family owned restaurant located at 31 East Putnam Avenue in Cost Cobb. We're a favorite among local residents as well as those just passing through. We are open seven days a week serving lunch and dinner. On the weekends, we also offer delicious breakfast and brunch menus. Stop on in and find out why Karen's Cost Copper is for people who love friends, family, and good food. So come give Cost Copper a shot! Up at 9 Cardinal Road. Visit nantaco.com to pre order a family meal to pick up after the game or just to stop by. Gracias and enjoy! Nantaco! In the past two years, the GAF has raised money to purchase and install numerous enhancements for Greenwich High School, including new gymnasium leads. State-of-the-art sound system at Dorothy Hamill Rink. New array speakers at Cardinal Stadium. And the new stadium scoreboard. You can visit us at GreenwichAF.com and hit the giving button at the top of the webpage. The Greenwich Athletic Foundation, driven to improve our high school sports experience. Looks like they want three dudes. Please. Okay. 
Seriously? One boss. Karen's Cost Copper is a family-owned restaurant located at 31 East Putnam Avenue in Cost Cobb. We're a favorite among local residents, as well as those just passing through. We are open seven days a week serving lunch and dinner. On the weekends, we also offer delicious breakfast and brunch menus. Stop on in and find out why Karen's Cost Copper is for people who love friends, family, and good food. So come give Cost Copper a shot! And we are back here at Dorothy Hamill. Some call it rink, some call it arena. We've never found anyone that actually calls it arena, except for me. But yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it, it, you're, you're it some. flows. You're it, some. What? You're some. I'm something, thank you. Yeah. All right, third period, senior night. Fairfield Falcons up 2-1. Let's see if the Cardinals can get one back. Flipped on in, Knopf is there. Allen, big hit on Knopf. Lewis. No, they called it. Yeah, they they called did them, call yeah. it. Yeah, after the fact a little bit. It felt like it was a little delayed on that decision. <laughs> Kung Fu fighting, Malazzo <laughs> doing his thing. He must have a whole I list. Oh yeah, he does, uh, yeah. He, he has a crazy list. Did they call a penalty or is there something else going on? Oh, it looks like a penalty, yep, no, interference. Called interference. I don't know. I thought he had the puck though, so that wouldn't have been. Like a, a, that wouldn't have been any really, Although no, no, it's not a penalty. It's not a penalty. Oh, okay. You think it was something about the boards or something? And uh, I don't see anyone in the box. Well, oh, no, there's two minutes up on the board. Well, Wait, uh, well, well, is it is it what? No, it, Timon is hot. Timon's oh. going. He was pretty hot talking to the ref there. Well, Timon is going to go. So. That was unexpected. It is a power play. I don't know what he did. Yeah. Yeah, they, I mean, he gave the, the sign for, uh, it was interference. for interference. Yeah. But. Well, I think yeah. it was maybe after the big hit, maybe time had gotten away. I didn't that really see it. That but could be. At any rate, the Cardinals with a golden opportunity here at the start Ta of Timon period didn't three. didn't seem to know that he was getting pulled in. Yeah, he, yeah. He was a little shocked there, you could tell. Puck kept in by Farmer. Throws it to Jervis. Now Skibo. Skibo centering pass. Just trickles past Brower and comes all the oh. way back down. O'Neal has to retrieve it. Chance for the Cardinals here to get back into this one. Farmer, big burst of speed in across the blue line. Centering pass broken up by Forrest, but back with Farmer. Takes oh. it on the backhand, lugs it in front. Puck loose and Flynn gets it and flings it past O'Neal and all the way back down. Here comes Farmer. Up ahead for O'Neal. Gets it up to Jervis. Watched by Knopf. Throws one on. Sticked aside by Baker. Cardinals control. Farmer. Cross ice to O'Neal. Scored from that spot before to Farmer. Shot. Hits. Forrest skate and goes wide. O'Neal throws it back into Jervis. Knopf is there. Forrest can't clear. O'Neal has it at the point. Blocked by Kleinberg. Puck ends up back at center. Farmer banks it ahead, but Koop has it. Saucer all the way down. Oh, O'Neal, uh, Sinisi, a little tricky there on the uh, <laughs> on the pad. A little scary. And Farmer will control. 30 seconds to go. Odofeld tries to get it in. Forrest is there. Odofeld chases. Kept in at the point for a minute. 
but back all the way down and Farmer will retrieve it. Only 10 seconds to go now in the power play. Farmer starts up. Good move around Flynn, top of the circle. Shot paddled away by Baker. Flynn has it. Power play is over. Oh. oh. Headman pass for time and coming out of the box, but eludes him and ends up an nice. icing. Good, good chance a, there. Good heads good up idea. play. Yep, absolutely. Because if he had caught that, he was gone. He was gone. And that's one thing about having two lines is, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, you would just pull that guy back in the bench, get the other guy on. But right. here, they yeah. put him on the ice, maybe. Like He's going to be on the ice anyway. Get back out there. Go back to where you were. Kleinberg and across the blue line. Good move by Kleinberg. Shot. Oh, my goodness. Saves Sinisi. That's off that again. is off again. Did that hit a, a hit, hit Sinisi? It, it did, did hit, hit Sinisi, him, yeah. yeah. Good little move there by uh, Sawyer Kleinberg. Got a nice shot, but Sinisi was there. Blocked it with the chest. And that came off the moorings. For the, Face for off about the coming. ninth time tonight. Yeah. Both, both nets. It'll be Kleinberg and Allen on the draw, deep in Cardinal territory. Allen wins it, but co-op keeps in, banked up ahead. Gilbride rides Kleinberg off. Allen sends it back around, but kept in by Knopf. Throws it behind the net. This is time and centering pass Ooh. broken up. It ends up on net. Nets off the moorings again, but they didn't stop it. Sinisi fixes it. And co-op comes back in, but they are off sides. Yeah, Sinisi on his butterfly just, yeah, obviously he's going for the puck, but it's, uh, he keeps seeing the, he knocks the net off. Seems to get it off uh, on the low post. That's not uncommon. No, not at all. Duffy wants to face off deep on the intentional offside. Yeah, because he, 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 he had his hand up. But refs say no, and face off is at center. Forrest bangs it in. Lombardi back forward for the Cardinals. He'll take it on the backhand. Throws it up. Kleinberg is there. Taken back by Lombardi. Throws it to Duffy. Mm. Past him. Aronson. Flicks it ahead to Holdsworth who manages to get it to center. Forrest weaves around and throws it back in. Sinisi leaves for Lombardi. Starts up with the head of steam. Loves it to center. Still Lombardi. Good play along the boards. Gets it into the zone. Taken back by Flynn. He circles back. Plays it up to Zarid. Thrown down. Might be an icing, and it is. Face off upcoming. All the way back in Falcon territory. 2-1, third period. All power play goals here tonight. And I'm noticing uh, yeah. uh, it's probably a part, partly to do with fatigue and partly doing with trying to get Greenwich working harder. Uh, Fairfield's really dumping the puck in very deep just as soon as they get over the red line, trying to create a little bit of uh, just getting the, getting the cards back on their heels so they have to constantly circle back, circle back, maybe trying to preserve the win here. It's a little early in the game to be doing that. Yeah. But, uh, save your legs but, a little bit. But save your legs a little bit, exactly, since uh, there's only nine guys really skating out there. This is Skibo controlling along the near boards, played by Stocker. Centering pass, Skibo can't get a stick on it. And Graziati comes yeah, back the dump, other way. Right, dump and chase. Farmer winds it around to Skibo along the near boards. Kept in by McHugh. Puck comes out. Stalker fans on the shot and comes back to center. This is Brower. Clears the red oh, line, God. gets it deep. Big hit on Brower. He's slow to get up. Sorry about that. Oh, that was huge. Head to the bench. She's a little shaken up. We'll keep an eye on that. Farmer, one-timer shot goes through. We have a delayed penalty now against the Cardinals somehow. Lewis returns serve with a big body check. And someone from the Cardinals is going. I did not see the penalty. And Brower's a freshman, and he hasn't quite grown into his body yet. He got 
He's a smaller guy. That was a big hit. He took he a was, big. But he, it was, you know, he was two feet off the board. So yeah, he, and he was pushed back into the board. Yeah, exactly. So that's where it gets really dangerous. Absolutely. Lewis is going so for Lewis a high stick. Oh, I see. So this will be a penalty uh, on Greenwich and a Fairfield opportunity now for the Falcons to get an insurance goal up 2-1. And we'll keep an eye on number 17, Brent Bauer. And he got off the ice uh, on his own power. He seemed yep. like he was just a little bit shaken up. Hopefully, Bauer is okay. Yeah, I hope he just lost his wind or something. Holdsworth, Allen, Skibo. I can't see who that is uh, Lombardi will do be on the kill for the Cardinals and co-op goes with their big line of Flynn, Kleinberg, Knopf with Timon and Forrest back. Timon keeps in, top of the circle, walks it in, throws it deep, back to Timon, set up, Forrest, Shot, save, Sinisi through a crowd. Good concentration Yeah, Gilbride there. was working hard to clear, uh, clear who was that? Uh, Ryan Flynn out from in front of the net. But Ryan's a big boy. He just stands there right in front of uh, Sinisi. Co-op wins the draw and controls. Good check and ends up with D'Angelo who clears it on down. Time and regroups. Good four check Aronson. by Aronson. Always hustling. Knopf plugs it in. Top of the circle, shots, and Easy saves it. Ends up right in front of him, and he'll cover up. Minute 23 to go on the power play, and this power play has been very dangerous, tallying two tonight for the Falcons. Arico and Flynn on the draw. Allen, Farmer, and O'Neill will help on the kill. And the usual suspects for co-op on the power play. Timing back to Forrest. Plays it deep to Kleinberg. Back to Timon. One oh. timer, great pass, great shot, just goes wide. Arico backhands it out. Good chance there for the Falcons. Timon comes back the other way, a minute to go. Plays it to Kleinberg. Gets it across to Flynn, now to Forrest. In across the line, back to Timon. They're set up again to Kleinberg. Back to Kleinberg at the point. Broken up by Allen, Great now save. to Sinisi, big save. He's really seeing the puck well Good through saves. traffic. Yep. Is, yeah, <clears throat> despite Flynn. Yeah, exactly. 30 yeah. to go They're not in making the power it easy play. There. But now it looks like, uh, oh, we'll see. Holdsworth, D'Angelo, Farmer, and Skibo will have the kill duties for the Cardinals for this last 30 seconds. Timing on the draw. Cars win it and manage to get it to center. Good play by Holdsworth. Takes it back to kill some time. Circles around. Excellent play on the penalty, but loses it. And Forrest comes now in across the blue line. Good poke check by Farmer. The co-op controls. They're set up again. 10 to go in the power play. Shot, Timon gets a stick on it but goes wide. D'Angelo watches. Back to Timon at the point. Flicks it ahead, power play over. Shot goes wide. Back to the point to Timon. Shot, Sinisi gets a pad on it through a crowd again. Farmer controls. Puck still in deep and here comes Farmer with the head oh, of steam. Three on two developing and across the line. Still Farmer takes it to the backhand. Centering pass for Holdsworth. He leaves for Skiba who got one, on, uh, got one into a crowd and Flynn will flick it ahead. Power play killed. 2-1, about eight minutes to go here in the third. 2-1 co-op. 
This is Zare throws it across. Up ahead, Skibo controls, has to wait for Jervis. Banks it up ahead. Zara comes back the other way. He's got a Pell. Shot gloved down by Sinisi, and he'll hold. 7.28 to go, third period. Farmer, as usual, is just great on the counterattack, getting the puck deep. Just can't seem to get that one guy open in front of the net that he can uh, get a dish off to. And, uh, but, you know, once again, he's just, uh, you know, for a sophomore, as a freshman, he was a tremendous player. As a sophomore, he's uh, equally tremendous. So, a lot of speed, a lot of poise. Yeah, really great player, real smart. And he plays both ends. I mean, he really, as a defenseman, he's playing a 200-foot game. This is Lombardi. Up to Lewis. Comes to center. Two on one here. Allen and D'Angelo. Allen, shot oh. wide. Comes to the point. Kept in Lombardi. Oh. Allen tried to get a tip on it. Went through him. Good save, Baker. Centering pass. Good pressure here by the Cardinals. Puck wrapped around. And Co-op will start back up. Good work by the captain, Kyle Allen, there. Duffy banks it ahead too far for Allen. And Duffy flicks it out. Now, now does get it to Allen. He's across the red line. Throws it in. No icing. Forrest winds it up, kept in almost oh, by Duffy, oh. but trickles through, and Holdsworth goes back for it. 6.30 to go. Cardinals looking for the equalizer. Oh. Yeah. Icing call. Yeah. It's like Lombardi wanted to ch change. <laughs> but, I, you know, I, I'm seeing, like, I think a little bit of momentum for the Cardinals right now. I think that you're starting to see... Some of the, you know, the top players are looking a little tired and other new players are coming out for the, the Falcons and maybe the Cardinals can get something going. Holdsworth on the draw. Puck in front. Thrown deep. Matthews is there. He bangs it around. Johnson on the backhand. Good move. Gets it to Holdsworth. Cuts across. Another good move by Holtworth. Shot. All right. But Tristan Baker gloves it. Some good quick moves by George Holtworth there, the junior. Two goals, two assists, four points on the year. It'll be Jervis, Brower, and Skibo up front. With Gilbride and Matthews on the back line for the cards. Falcons win the draw. Skibo in pursuit. Forrest will wind it back in, but kept in by the Cardinals. This is Skibo. Gets it back to Jervis. Rips a shot. Good save by Baker. Puck along the near board. Skibo and Kleinberg battle for it. Flick uh. back down. That'll be an icing as the puck travels the length of the ice. 5.29 to go. Time becoming a factor here, but some pressure for the Cardinals. Maybe some fatigue setting in, as you pointed out. The, uh, yeah, they, it, the time is now to get this equalizer. It'd be nice on senior night, for gosh sakes. For gosh sakes, you're absolutely right. It'd be cool if a senior scored it. <laughs> if not, I'll take anybody. Here we go. Farmer pinches. Lewis, centering pass, puck in front. Comes go. back to Farmer. Great throws shot. it through a crowd. Lewis gets a stick on it. Puck goes behind the net. Back to Farmer who pinches. Goes deep. Throws it in front. Too far for Lewis. O'Neal whacks it back in. Cars have to tag up. Puck goes all the way down. O'Neal is there with timing. Farmer. Lewis backhands it, but Flynn keeps in. O'Neal has it. Circles back. Good play by O'Neal. Yeah, look at that. Puts on the brakes. Great move. Great really pass. nice. Great pass to Lewis, who gets it deep, but Knopf is there. Backhands it to Forrest. Forrest wings one up to Flynn. 
But O'Neal is there for the Cardinals. Head man to Lewis who gets a stick on it and gets it deep. Johnson in pursuit. Good four check on Forrest. Puck behind the net. Holdworth comes uh-huh. to help. Good four check by the Cardinals here. Puck still loose. Johnson fights for it. And we've got a, a hand up by the ref. What Could was we, it? Is Johnson going to go for uh, something He here? was cross-checking him, but I didn't think... Uh, yeah, yeah, Johnson was cross-checking him. Just a little like too he, much. Seems like he knew. Yeah, it seemed like the third one was... Uh, <laughs> the third cross-check in a row. The third cross-check was the one? That's the one he didn't like. That's a tough penalty here with 4.15 yeah, to go. Not, yeah. wor- not worth it. I think that... I mean, he was, he was tr- you know... He, he was just hustling. He's though, hustling, you know? digging, tr- digging. Good four-check doing, doing there by Teddy do. Johnson. Yeah, absolutely. But unfortunately, this time of the game... Uh, they're going for a timeout. Might as well get a rest. I think they're going to try to rest the big boys here. Two minutes to go, uh, four, four fifteen to go in the in the game. Two minutes to go. A fresh penalty coming up here. So the Cards will have the task of killing again. Killing and but maybe still even getting a shorty. Needing needing the shorty would be nice, <laughs> but they would maybe sign up for the kill. Yeah. Against yeah, this, uh, no question about very it. Very lethal power play. Yeah, these guys, uh, I mean, talk about having your best guys on the ice but uh, during the power play, but they've just played really, really, really well considering the short numbers they have. Uh, but they've been doing that all season. You know, they've, they've got a short bench in general. They don't have a, t- a big roster, and uh, they don't seem to get tired. They're just really pushing the pace well, and uh, they're, they're a formidable team. They're going to be uh, tough in the MCX. I just did a little quick Boyer-like math, and this unit of five has 157 points on the season. This wow. power play unit, yeah. 157 wow. points. Wow, that is tremendous. Not counting tonight, <laughs> another couple tonight. Right, right. Or more with the assists. So it's, uh, yeah, everybody here can put the puck in the net. Flynn, Timon, Kleinberg, Knopf, and Forrest. Yeah. It's a tall order here. It'll be a Rico Lombardi. We'll get the rest in a moment. Co-op controls. Timon That's the gets a deep centering pass. And Easy is there. And now Farmer controls. He'll start up. Cardinals down a goal. Not content to just throw it down. Farmer throws it wide. Flynn controls. A Rico on him. Good four check, but he'll get it over to Timon. And the Falcons will start up. Cross ice pass to Forrest, who gets it deep. Lombardi watches him. Forrest gets it to Kleinberg. They try to set up, but Enrico is there, and he'll bang it ahead. Flynn blocks it down. Cross ice to Timon. Back to Flynn. Behind Timon. Breaks the flow a little bit, but Forrest will wing it in as Flynn goes deep for it. Farmer fights for it. Flynn has it behind the net. Falcon setting up. This is Timon to Flynn. Walks it in. Ooh. Shot hits the outside of the post. And Flynn controls again. Gets it in front. Saves Sinisi and he'll hold on. Dangerous little flutter pass in did you front. See how, did you yeah. see that move, though, where he, he dumped it into the dumps it into the side and then he follows it. He follows yeah. it in for the give and go. He didn't yep. get the give and go that time, but it's such a, it's such a neat little move. I don't, you don't see that very often with power plays at this level. 52 seconds to go on the power play. And if you're curious what unit two is on the power play for co-op, it's the same as unit one. Yeah. It's these guys <laughs> on the ice. Shot! And he got it. And that one's in. Another one-timer. It's Sawyer Kleinberg. Terrific pass. Terrific shot. I got to see who got that assist. But a short side one-time blast. It was interesting because I think Sinisi actually took the net off and may have actually increased the angle. Watch it, it mostly. Oh, what a great play. I didn't see who. Uh, it was started with Forrest. To the near side. Near we'll side, listen for the assist. A really terrific pass, pa- but pass. But I actually think that Kleinberg. Sinisi went down in the butterfly and that net was kind of coming off as the puck was coming in. Indeed. Yeah, and I, it opened it up a little bit. Uh, maybe. Maybe a touch. 
but a great one-timer by Sawyer Kleinberg, and I that mean, gives Falcons That's a, that's a, a thin window from over there, you know. It's a hard shot to make. So I mean. it was timing on the pass. Yeah. So add a couple of more points to that giant total. No doubt. And it's 3-1 here with 249. It's going to take cool. a lot here for the cards. Well, we're seeing these guys again Saturday, right, you said? We're going to see them again Saturday, yeah. I mean, I think the cards can be, could win it. Is there a chance these guys will still be tired? <laughs> <laughs> Goalie is pulled here. I like that move by Coach well, Tuffy here well, saying we're not giving up in yeah, our building. Yeah. Six on four. Kept in by Matthews. A lot of white on the ice. This is Jervis. Shot save. Rebound. Oh Skibo. Chance for Aronson. Uh, for Brower. Just, just goes by. Just goes wide. Just missed. Oh, Kept in now by Brower. Timing got a stick on that. Centering pass. Keep it in. Oh. Gilbride can keep it in. 2.24 to go. Goalie is pulled. Six on five. I said six on four. Not a power play. Oh, no. Uh, that's it. McHugh. Oh, post. Hit the post. Miles McHugh. Wow. Saucered one to the empty net, but hit the post. Oh, uh, that's Tymon. It. We'll put that one into put the that empty one away. net. That one bulged the twine. That one bulged the twine. Indeed. And, uh, this is when we let it run in the beer league. That's yeah. correct. Four to one on the empty netter, but a good effort. Chance for Brower down low. Oh, yeah, he almost had that. Big scrum in front. A lot of pressure. And that's, uh, yeah, that'll seal it. Uh, the bummer about uh, the scheduling for the cards, this is Fairfield's last game of the season. They get to go home, get some rest, hit some practices between now and the, and the FCX. Greenwich has two more games in a row. Farmer's not giving up. No way. Farmer throws it in front. Cal Jacobs getting some time here in the waiting minutes, which is nice to see on senior night. Kleinberg looking for the Hattie here. Throws one on and nice move. Love down by Sinisa. Yeah, he's a quick, quick player. Good shot. Good ice awareness. Minute 39 to go. This is going to be a very different team next year, co-op. Like, you know, they have such strong seniors. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for Jacob's sure. Jacob's Bailey getting uh, some getting time it. here as well on senior night here in the last minute and a half, which is nice to see. It's Jay Bell, is right? Uh, Jay Bailey, yeah. Sinisi leaves for Farmer. There's Jay Bailey. Throwing it down. And we'll come back for an icing. Well, it's 4-1 co-op. It was close most of the way. Co-op started the scoring on a power play goal by Sawyer Kleinberg. Greenwich tied it on a Trent O'Neill highlight reel wrister from the point on a power play with 10 seconds left in the first shot score let's see who got that one it's gonna be looking for a number oh it looks like AJ Zarid has rung the register here, the senior on senior night, making it 5-1. That's his third goal on the season, so I see he's happy with that. Indeed. And 5-1 on the score sheet looks this looks like a bigger a bigger margin of error than this game was. This one was close right. all the way. A couple of power play goals, actually I think three power play goals by yeah. Fairfield Co-op was the difference. One empty netter, and then this uh, kind of meaningless one here at the end. No offense, oh. AJ. <laughs> They're all, they all count. They all count. They all mean something they somewhere. They all count. Jervis whips one on, 45 to go. Yeah. 
Knopf will saucer that one all the way down. That will go for an icing. That's a saucer? That's a rocket. <laughs> that felt like a saucer to it's me. A, uh, it's a rocket-like saucer. It's a saucer rocket. There it's a go. UFO. There you go. I, Sauce rocket. I think he saucered it. <laughs> I'm standing by saucer. I like saucer. You guys can watch three play and decide. Email us. <laughs> saucer or rocket. Or both. <laughs> Combo. Allen on the draw, 29 to go. Another icing. Weinberg still hustling, chasing that puck down, trying to avoid the icing. Forrest will lug it to center. This should just about do it. Crosses the red line, so no icing. Wound back around. And Gilbride will play to the corner, and that should just about wrap it up here at Dorothy Hamill, and it does. As senior night comes to an end. A little disappointing for the cards, but a good effort all the way around. Absolutely. 5-1 on the scoreboard, but uh, again, as we've said, a much closer really a game. Really 3-1 game, yeah. 3-1, yeah, yeah. an empty netter, a, a meaningless one at the end. Sorry, AJ. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Your goal was beautiful. <laughs> nice upper shelf, really nice. Um, they all count. I'm just teasing. So uh, the ne next up for the Cardinals will be? They had, Tomorrow night they have uh, Notre Dame Fairfield up in, oh. up in Fairfield, and then they... Uh, and then the next night they have St. Joe's, another FCI game, to finish their season up at up at uh, at Sacred Heart. And, and then, then Saturday, they have a day off, and then Saturday they're going to most likely play Fairfield once again. Oh, I not think, not definite. No, I, it's pretty definite. Pretty yeah. definite. Pretty definite. Yeah. All right, there you have it. It's time now, of course, for Jonesy's three stars <laughs> of the game. Do we get the graphic? Let's get the big long graphic. Uh, it's the last oh, yeah. night of the season, for gosh sakes. Oh, there it is. Mind the handsome. <laughs> Devilishly handsome. Hockey's best mind. That's just a direct shot of Gordon. That's just, that's James Mayer's uh, graphics guru. By the coach, poking some, poking some fun. Chris Jonesy's three stars. That part always makes me kind of hungry. Yes, Ruth's Chris. I know, exactly. All right, All Jonesy, right. what do you got? Well, I'm going to go uh, Trent O'Neill having the third star. He had a beautiful bar down goal to uh, bring the cards to a tie right at the end of the first period and he played a great game throughout um he's had a great season as well so uh i'll give him the third star second star gonna give it to flynn he had a goal had an assist and he just was creating havoc in front and uh first star has got to be sorry kleinberg he just played a great game and i've been told my buddy brent spitzer is his uncle i play hockey with him once oh. a week and Brent told me he taught him everything he knows. Really? Yeah, so we got so a little you shot have up. some kind of friendly connection to Sawyer. I, I didn't know that. Kleinberg. Yes, does, Kleinberg. Does, yeah. that, does that in any way taint the first star? Yeah. No, not at all. I don't think so. Not, I, I think that Sawyer exists. deserves it. I know, I think he totally deserves it. I think there will it. be an investigation. Because no, I think you need to recuse and, yourself. And, and you know what? You know what I say? Bring it on. <laughs> I welcome right. the investigation. I welcome that investigation because he be played really well. And I was just thinking to myself when he's like, oh, my, my nephew's on the team and blah, blah, blah. And I'm yeah. like, yeah, okay, yeah. all right. I've heard that before. Yeah, he deserves but, it. Man, he, he's, he, a, he's a great player, and he's got a bunch of goals and assists on the season. He's I, having a fantastic I, season. I, I just want to say to whoever's still watching this, thank you. Thank you for sticking around yeah, for this yeah. part. Yeah, so we'd like to thank around, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'd like to thank, of course, the great Keith and all the yes. people. At, uh, and Mike here, and Mike and, over and, our shoulder. And Gus, who's here on occasion, and yes. uh, every, everybody that helps us the out. Nantaka the Nantaka lights, every the Nantaka lights, yeah, and they also, eye. and they also make tacos. Oh, that yeah. they do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. They're not um, just an electronic company. Uh, the uh, <laughs> an the illumination uh, company. The 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 the, the, the GAF. The Greenwich Athletic Foundation, yes, am I saying that yes, right? Yes, yes, The yeah. coaches, the parents, we're, we're yep. very happy and privileged to be a part of the, uh, and of course. the, the, the team. Yeah, oh, absolutely. It's Rich an honor. Fondue Fulton. Exactly. Yeah. Lee, read my mind. Lee Malazzo. Lee Malazzo. Lee Malazzo. Anybody else? Um, nope. 
Nope, that's it. <laughs> We've thanked everybody. That's that's the whole thing. I think and, we covered everybody. All right, I guess that's going to do it for us and our oh, season. Wait a minute, we can't forget Jenny Allen. She did a great job. Oh my job. gosh, how can you forget Jenny Allen? I, I could, he she, forgot Jenny I Allen. Did. I, almost, I never forgot. I almost Jenny did. Allen. She did a fantastic job as uh, one of the uh, captain's parents. They have a lot of responsibility. She did yep. a great job, as did Mrs. Lewis. A great parent group this year, I would yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. were. Yeah, right? they are. They are. good really, group. Really nice group. Pretty tight. Nice group yeah. of kids. Yeah, and absolutely. I w- <laughs> and we're not done yet. We're, you have more to not. say. I just want to see if we can keep talking until no one is watching. Yeah, yeah. Zero. Yeah. Can we go? Until the ratings go to zero. Wait, is there on. a way to there see that? We're at 10. Keep going. Hold on. <laughs> I, I know how to get into zero. Yeah. Take Wait, let's one take one more, more look, look at, at the tie. tie. Yeah. And there goes our last viewer. They've just clicked <laughs> it off. said, oh, All leave right. it there. That will do it from Dorothy <laughs> Hamill to no one watching anymore. It's been a great season. Rob Burnett, the voice of Cardinal Hockey, for Chris Jonesy Jones. Andrew, the big brain boyer. We will see you next time. Take care. Hello, hon. Hey, can I get a special? You got it. One special. Hi, can I have a big boy? Sure. One big boy, please. Okay. Seriously? One boss. Karen's Cost Copper is a family-owned restaurant located at 31 East Putnam Avenue in Cost Cobb. We're a favorite among local residents, as well as those just passing through. We are open seven days a week, serving lunch and dinner. On the weekends, we also offer delicious breakfast and brunch menus. Stop on in and find out why Karen's Cost Copper is for people who love friends, family, and good food. So come give Cost Copper a shot!